channel so this tutorial is gonna be on my makeup look right now so this is like inspired for like all the summer bronze type of glow you know everybody wants to glow for the summer so this is my version of my summer glow and hopefully you guys like this summer glow for because especially I live in Vegas it's very hot and I don't want my makeup to move so I really packed it in there I packed it in so you're gonna see that soon and for the people that is, uh, just came to my channel or are new to my channel welcome to my channel my name is Michelle you can see right here um, hopefully you guys could join my little family I love to do makeup so you don't know me I love make love, love doing makeup I like doing you know hauls and everything and sometimes I go some adventure random adventures like hiking so hopefully you guys join this family so uh, check out my makeup right now Hi guys! So let's start off on prepping our face using the Smashbox Primer Water. Then I'll be combining two primers from Laura Giller and Smashbox. Just going to rub the primers and pat it on your face gently. Then using Estee Lauder Double Wear in color Tawny, I'm going to combine this with MAC Mineralize Foundation because I got a little dark from the heat and, you know, from the sun here in Vegas. It's too hot here. Just dot the foundation all over the face. Using a damp beauty blender, I'm going to just tap the beauty blender to get a flawless airbrush look. Then using my Benefit Boing Concealer in shade 2, it's a salmon color, it's to get rid of the dark circles or spots. So I'll be applying this all over my dark area on my face. As you can see here, I'm putting in a little bit on top of my lips because, you know, I got some dark areas there. So going to blend out with my Beauty Blender, so make sure to push the product in. Using my Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline in the shade Sand, I'll be applying this below my eyes using an upside down triangle as you can see here. Putting it on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and a little bit on, on top of my upper lip, and a little bit on the side of my face and the chin. Back to the Beauty Blender and carefully pushing the product in to have the airbrush look. You have to have patience in blending, just keep blending. Below the eye, be gentle in blending. As you can see right here, just keep blending. Using my darker shade from the Kat Von D Tattoo line, so we are going to contour that nose and cheekbones and a little bit on the forehead so we can look slim and glam, haha. -ha. You wanna look skinny, right? Blending again with the Beauty Blender. As you can see, I'm mostly using my Beauty Blender. Yes, I do recommend. I know it's a little bit expensive on the price. It's 20 bucks, but it's worth it. It's better than using many different types of brushes. You could just only just clean this one and that's it. And just keep blending. As you can see here, you just have to be patient and just blend all the contour off so it can look natural. Look at me. I look weird when I blend. <laughs> I'm using a push in and smudging motion so the product can look flawless. Using my air sponge translucent powder, I'll be using the baking method so my makeup won't budge. It will last all day. As you can see, I'll be both applying this below my eyes. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil applying this below my cheekbones. We are setting the wet contour with the powder bronzer so we can look bronze and sun kissed. Also applying a little on my nose, as you can see right here, just a little. Also applying on my temples and a little bit on my forehead. Just blended it well. A little bit on my chin, side chin right there to get that sculpted look. Get that skinny, slim version look. 
Then cleaning up the contour with the translucent powder, applying that with the be damp beauty blender. As you can see right here, I'm just sliding the product in. And then this one, I'm tapping the product in below my eyes, on my forehead, just a little bit. And then we're just gonna let that set. While that sets, we're going to work on our eyes. I'll be using the Lemonade Eye Primer from Benefit. Apply that on both of the lids. Yes! I'll be using the new palette from Morphe. It's the 35F. Using the bottom lightest matte shade, we'll be applying this on our eyelid for the base. Now we can wipe off the translucent powder with any powder brush. Just wipe it off gently. The fourth dark matte shade, we are going to use this on the crease, just buffing this in with a blending brush. Using the 6 matte shade, the orangey tan color, doing the same thing, buffing it in the crease but with a pencil brush as you can see right here. Now using this gold shimmer on our eyelids, just using my finger, I think the pigment comes out more using a finger instead of a brush. Going back with the Morphe 35F palette using the burgundy tan shimmer, I'll be using a pencil brush and applying this on the crease. Don't be scared of using a shimmer color on the crease. You just want to glow for summer. You want to look pretty. Also going to buff it in with a blending brush. Then cleaning it up with a concealer so the eyeshadow can look sharp and clean. Using my beauty blender to blend it all in. Now let's work on the eyebrows going with the spoolie to clean out the hairs. Using the new Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, applying that on my eyebrows. I like the natural thick look. As you can see right here, I'm very applying it very slowly because I suck at it. <laughs> Going to use my NYX Tinted Brow to lock in the color and the eyebrow hair. Using a lip scrub to prep my lips before applying a matte lipstick, just scrubbing that on the dry lips because you know matte lipstick can dry out your lips. Going back on the eyes using the NYX Matte Black Eyeliner, I'm going for a wing look right here. <laughs> I'm still slow on applying on my eyeliner. <laughs> Sorry about that, kind of went off the screen because I need to be close to a mirror when applying my eyeliner. <laughs> Still slow at it. Now going to apply the Stila Black Eyeliner on my lower and upper waterline. As you can see right here. Haha, <laughs> I look creepy when applying it above my waterline. It's very hard. <laughs> Now applying the matte orangey tan below my lashes with a pencil brush so it could balance the look. Then combining these two light shimmer shade and applying this in my inner tear ducts. Using Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara before applying falsies. Going to use a duo glue and my new favorite lashes from Vanny Vixen called Ariel. If you're interested, I'll link the website below. You can also use my code for discount. Then using a Rimmel lip liner in Nude, I'll be lining my lips before using a matte lipstick. Going to use my Kate Von D matte lipstick in the color Lolita. I love this color. It makes my lips look fuller. Love it. Going to use my Anastasia That Glow Kit in these three shades using a fan brush that I'll spray Fix Plus on it. We want that glowing highlight, just pack that highlight on the cheekbones. I want that glow for that summer. Don't be afraid of using so much highlight because you want to look glowy for the summer. Applying it on the bridge and the tip of the nose, also on the cupid bow and chin. Yes, finally I have this highlight from Wet n Wild Color Precious Petal. I love this highlight, it's only 5 bucks, it's such a steal. I just want to glow more so I'm just packing that highlight in. Using NARS in the shade Laguna to get more bronzy. Applying that in the hollows of my cheeks. Going to use my Gwen Stefani collab with Urban Decay in these two shades. For my blush, I'm going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks. Going back with the highlight again. Applying any highlight in the center of my lips so it can look fuller and juicy. Haha. -ha. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Mwah. Say hi to the camera. Right there. Look. Right there. Yes. Perfect girl. <laughs> this is my baby doggy Chloe.
Say hi to the world. Say hi. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. One thing compared to other palettes that I have, these are very cheap. These are very affordable. Not cheap, but quality cheap, but like affordable. And some of the some of the colors they have good quality, and some of it is like you have to put a lot of you have to put a lot, you know, double the wear. Some they have good swatches, some doesn't. But for